Artlings! Today we have Children's Book Conference Part 2, an excellent interview with illustrator Joy Allen. I'm Melanie Gruby and this is Creative Magic and around here we're all about all things art. That inner voice, that deep part of us that wants to sing out. So come on, step into the Magic Circle Studios, home of the all-powerful muse, and now your home. So today we are doing part two of the SCBWI conference. That's the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators. And great interview with Joy Allen, illustrator. I can't wait. My name's Joy Allen, and I'm an illustrator. I've done about over 60 books. I was an art director at a graphic arts company. I did not get to draw. I got to tell other, other artists how to draw and create different things, such as how to make a great brochure for a company that makes screws. And then to make that passionate enough that you would want to buy that screw. So that was kind of my introduction. Layout, design, and uh, I had already been to art school and had quite a few different uh, scholarships, etc. There came a time when everybody was talking about how good my drawings were. Why don't you try children's books? And I got at a point at 47 that maybe I want to do drawing again, illustrating again, and give it a try. So I looked at uh, online and found that at Art Center College of Design in uh, Pasadena that they had a class by Marta Frazzi. That would be a good start. It was an evening class. I could fit it in with my four kids as a single mom. So I trucked on down there. It took me an hour and a half drive in the traffic and I got there late. I was about 10 minutes late and I opened up the door, eager, excited to see if I could become, if I was good enough to become an illustrator. And there was Marla Frazzi's work on a large screen. It was so beautiful that as I put my foot in the door, I pulled my foot out because I was so intimidated. And I had to take the moment to say to myself, do I want to be the best in class or do and be the, the artist that everybody looks at or do I want to learn from someone that is great? I stepped in and I started my career as a children's book illustrator. Marla taught me so much. In nine weeks, I put together a portfolio and from there, she showed me how I could Xerox my pieces and send them off. I kept it. I had gone to bookstores, studied different publishers that might be interested in my work, and then I submitted. I had a hot, a medium, and a no way category for each one of them. And as those rejection letters started coming in, if they happened to say that we like your artwork, but maybe we will keep it on file, that was considered hot. <laughs> if it said we're not interested, that was not. If they actually, it was kind of a medium, maybe not right for our house. If I didn't get anything back, that was okay, we won't bother them again. I would say six months, I had my first magazines that I was doing work for. From there I went on to um, Early Readers, The Random House, and Penguin, and eventually up to uh, picture books and story books.
an Oprah pick. Enjoy Ellen's blog where you can see some examples of her licensing. That includes fabrics, figurines, and ornaments. And it's a great area for illustrators to get into. Okay, Artlings, now it's your turn. Tell me who your favorite children's book illustrator is. Do it in the comments below. And I want to send a big shout out to both Joy Allen and Dr. Mira Reisberg for your great interviews. Thank you so much for sharing with us and giving us a bigger view on illustration and art. And I want to thank you, Artlings, for spending a little time with me. I loved it. I hope you did too. And remember, don't be afraid to spill a little paint, spill a little ink, or even a few pixels. See you next week. Bye! Hi, Ben! Hi! Hey, guess what? What? I got some books from Joy Allen. You did? Let's see! And she signed them. Let's look. Okay. This is a Cam Jansen book. And on the inside, she made a, drew a girl for me. Am I getting it? And she wrote, you have the sky to fly. Cool! Yeah. And then, hold the boat. What does this one say? I'll show you. It says, follow your path. Wasn't that excellent? It was! Well, what do you think? Yeah, read me one for bedtime. You got it.